Hello friends. In this video, I'm going to explain how to manage a large CSV file or filtering a CSV file with multiple criteria using Python. We can store the filter result into an Excel file without opening either Excel or CSV file using Python. Hope this video may help many Excel users who might have not heard about Python, but they start exploring. Keep watching. The file which I'm going to use for this video has got 1.5 million rows, whereas Excel can handle only 1,048,576 rows or records. So we cannot uh, see complete data in Excel if we open this file with Excel. Let me try that. I'll get a prompt that the complete data is not loaded and only the data till 1,048,576 rows is available. Of course, there are other tools like Power Query Editor where you can manage any number of rows. For that, I have created a separate video. Now you can see the prompt is saying file not loaded completely and the data is only till 1,048,576 rows, but the data is 1.5 million rows. Now let me explain how to manage this file, rather the CSV file with Python and store the filter data into Excel with less effort. Since Python is an open source program, you can download it free and install it. This is the website where you can go to the download section and install the latest version. There are many tutorials available about downloading and installing Python. I suggest you to go to those videos and follow them, install Python to follow this video. If any specific questions you have, you can just mention them in the comment section on which I can provide some help. Once you have installed Python in your PC, you need to install Pandas library. Pandas is Python data analysis library. You can call it as data analysis and manipulation tool. Once you're ready with Python installed in your PC, I suggest you to download Visual Studio code where you can edit the code. Just download it, install it and keep it ready. And then now the real action where I'm writing the code and converting a CSV file into Excel without opening either CS or Excel. Now I need to jump into Visual Studio Code and I'm going to use this file having 1.5 million rows, which I'm converting into an Excel after filtering it based on certain multiple criteria. For that, I need to have a script file. I don't have any as of now. I need to create one that is file, new file, and I need to save this file as a Python script files. So py file for that file save as. Name of the file is practice dot py. This is mandatory. You need to mention py dot py and save it. Here you can see two windows. One is a text editor window where I can type my code. Second window is a terminal window where I can execute my code. Now the code. First I need to call the library pandas. For that import pandas as pd. You can type any other name rather you can type as it is pandas. Next is I need to tell python which file has to be used. For that variable md my data. You can type any other name. So I've just written a small uh, text md my data. I'm using pd to read the file because I want to read the CSV and the CSV name is this and extension CSV is a must. And then next I need to see whether I can see the data or not. For that I need to use the syntax print and then to be printed md. Now let me see what happens if I run this code. First let me save this file, control S and then keep the cursor in the terminal window and then I need to write the file name with py practice and then py. So py practice py and if I press enter, 
you can see the complete data wherein only the first four records and then along with the column headers and then last five records. That means the data is readable by Python from the CSV. Finally, I'm going to show you how to filter this data. I'm using two columns. One is region, another is sales channel, where the region equal to North America and sales channel equal to online. And after that, once the filter happens, I want to convert and store that into an Excel. So this is the column header and I need to call this column header through a property called location. So I'm using the property location and then I'm building the syntax. Now let me make this as a comment. So hash so that it becomes a comment and next code will be like this. MD that is a file variable and location and I need to deal with two locations. One is MD region which is equal to North America and then ampersand another location is sales channel equal online. So this syntax will filter the data, but now I need to convert that filtered result into Excel. So dot to Excel and the file name is new file dot XLSX. And then if I run this code, I'll get my Excel. So let me save the code, control S, and then I'm running the code, enter. You can see here the file will be added in a short while because it's a big file so it has to filter. Now you can see new file xlsx is added and the code is now finished. Now let us see the file. Now let me go to the folder and then that is a new file. Now just now it is created. It is created at 852 and then if I look at the data, this data is filtered by one is North America, another is sales channel equal to online. Hope you understood the concept and liked it. If you have any questions, please mention them in the comment section. I'm going to create many such videos where I'm going to discuss all small and simple topics so that you'll actually get near to Python and start using it. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel because as and when I upload a new video, you'll get a notification. Thank you very much.